I'm here with my March empties. I tell myself every single month that I don't know if I'll have enough for an empties video and for some reason I keep collecting my trash and there's a lot of empties. Anyways, it is actually Easter Sunday, um, but I'm not going to say Happy Easter because it's going to be like after, I'm going to post this way after Easter, but happy Easter. I hope you had a great Easter. Um, the first thing that I actually have is, of course, my Skin to Mint Shaving Gel. Um, it has vitamin E, so it's really moisturizing for my legs. I actually have two of these that I went through, so I love it. And the other thing is always a standard is my makeup remover wipes from Up and Up. Up and Up is like the best. Does anyone agree with me? Up and Up by Target ha makes some good stuff and it's cheaper. So um, I really love these makeup wipes. I just can't stray from them. Um, I might try something else, but I just love these. They're cheap and easy and my husband uses them when he comes home from work. So I, we just love them. They work and we go through them so fast. The other thing, I don't know why I put this in here, but I just obviously wanted to show you my cotton rounds. These um, are the cotton rounds I use by Up and Up, of course, by Target. And I use this with my toner in the morning. All right, some other things that I have is some lotion. I went through some lotion, and the first one is the Vaseline Total Moisture. I don't know, it's the yellow one. Um, it looks like that. And this is just a little one. Um, I know they have like the big tubs for like five bucks. Um, I really enjoy this. It made my skin feel really, really soft. I always put a, put lotion on right when I get out of the shower to put that moisture back in. And I really like this stuff. If I ever stray away from like my Victoria's Secret body lotions, I would completely purchase a big tub of this because it's really good. The next lotion that I have, I actually, um, it took a while to use this up just because I used it for a certain purpose. This is the Eucerin Dry Skin Therapy Calming Itch Relief Treatment. Um, and I had really, really bad dry, red, itchy patches all over my legs during winter. I always get it. Every single winter, I go through a point where like I can't even go to bed because it itches so bad. Um, and this really, really helped that. Um, it has like a cooling menthol, so it kind of had like a cooling burning sensation, but it felt so good on my itchy legs. And I actually just had like a little bit left, so I used it the other night just to use as my lotion. Um, but I really, really suggest this if you have really bad like eczema or dry, itchy skin. This is really awesome. The next lotion that I have is from Victoria's Secret and this is the Breathless Perfume or Perfume Lotion, Body Lotion. I did have the perfume of this and for some reason this only comes out when they have their like semi-annual sale. I don't know why. And it's always 50% off, which is awesome. So I pay like 10 bucks for this, but I don't know why they don't have it in their permanent line. I don't get it. And this is an amazing summer smell. Like this is the perfect summer smell. So the next time they have their semi-annual sale, I'm going to have to stock up. Oh, it smells like, to me, it smells like suntan lotion, like a very light, refreshing suntan lotion. Um, I love this, and I had the body perfume or the perfume with this. It just smells so good. So if you are there during their semi-annual sale, smell this. It's so, so good. I love it. The last lotion I have for you um, is there's a lot left and this is because um, well first I'll tell you what it is it is the philosophy candy cane and um, I had this this is old this is probably a year two years I don't even know years old and I was like oh why don't I use this it's a philosophy philosophy brand like why didn't I use this up so I was like eh, I'll use it um I put it on my arms and it burnt the crap out of my arms. I had like red rashes all up on my arms. It was like burning, like burning my skin off. 
So I had to like wash it off. I had to get back into the shower, wash it off. It was awful. So I, I actually told my husband, I was like, put this on your hands and see what it does. And he's like, what the heck? So I'm tossing this because it burnt the crap out of my arms and I don't know why. Um, it does smell really nice. It smells like fresh like candy cane or like fresh peppermint it smells so good but it burnt my skin off so I would not repurchase all right the next thing I went through is this beauty secrets pure acetone and it's a nail polish remover it's pure acetone it's awful 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 for your nails and I don't suggest using it because it's really bad for your nails but it takes off nail polish like no other I got this at Sally Beauty Supply I believe and I think it's awesome because it's like one swipe and my nail polish is off and the way I put nail polish on like every other day this definitely is needed in my life so I will continue to, to purchase my pure acetone another thing I went through and I actually have just a little bit and I will use it um, this is the dream angels divine I had the big tube um, not too long ago in another empties um, I actually kept this in my car and I kind of sprayed it around in my car um, for the longest time and I just have a little bit left it smells like really, really refreshing, baby powdery, not floral. I don't know. It smells, it's really, really a light mist of like freshness. I'm so bad at describing scents. I don't know. Go into Victoria's Secret and smell it. It does smell really, really good. And I loved it for spraying around in my car. So that worked out. Okay, I also went through a BioTrue. Um, this is a mini one because um, we did some traveling the past month to my parents' house and this was really helpful because it was like a little baby bottle, um, but I love that contact solution. Um, I also went through my Burt's Bees Citrus Facial Scrub. I love this stuff. I think it's so amazing. I didn't repurchase because I'm trying out the Neutrogena Naturals and um i really love this this is an all-natural product i think it's like honey and oat and it looks kind of like dirt it's like brown um but you just kind of scoop some out with your fingers rub it in your hands with some water and then scrub it on your face and it leaves your skin so soft so buttery and it cleaned my face really really well so i highly suggest this if you are looking for like a kind of a facial scrub or exfoliant. This is really, really nice. Um, the next thing I tried out actually from my parents' house, she had this, um, my mom had this and I just kind of took it and tried it. It's the La Fresh makeup remover. And it was just like a sample one. There was only one in there. And it was really nice. I didn't mind it at all, but I have no idea where you buy this. So <laughs> I have no idea where she got it. Um, but it was really nice. It was a great makeup remover. It didn't burn my eyes or my face or make me break out or anything. So it worked. All right, I have two hair care. We're getting there. I have a lot of makeup, so I'm trying to work my way through this. Okay, this is the Alterna Bamboo. Um, it's their Silk Sleek Brilliance Cream, and it's like a leave-in kind of cream to style your hair with. I really, really liked this. I thought it was really, really nice, um, but... I have a lot of other things that I like for my hair, so I wouldn't like purchase this. The next thing that I have for my hair, oh my gosh, I almost dropped it, <laughs> um, is actually, I don't even know if they discontinued this or what, but this is like my favorite and I use it all the time. It is the Frizz, John Frieda Frizz Ease Overnight Repair Formula. And it looks like this and it has like a pump and what you what I did is at night I would kind of pump it into my hands maybe like two pumps I would kind of work it through the ends of my hair and then I would go to sleep wake up and then you rinse this out or you can even leave it in until you take a shower and it kind of like repairs your hair and for me I feel like it really really helped frizz like it really really frizz ease like it helped my frizz a lot um, I really really like this stuff and I think it's definitely worth um, trying this out as like an overnight repair um, rather than just like putting 
I know you can just put conditioner in your hair at night and kind of sleep in that, but this is kind of a lighter version of doing like a heavy conditioner, so love it. And I definitely would repurchase, except I don't even know if they make this anymore, so. Okay, the next couple of things, I went through my e.l.f. lip exfoliator and uh, I didn't really get to use this much because um, it just kind of broke off. It didn't really work. It, I literally used it like twice and it completely broke off and it kind of looks like that if you can see. I don't really know if it exfoliated my lips at all but it's from e.l.f. It was like three bucks. Whatever. Um, the next thing, I'm so happy to get rid of this. This is the Bath & Body Works Forever Red. I had this sample from an influencer box and I liked it originally. It was really nice and like kind of fruity. I hated it when I got like halfway. I was like, I hate this scent. I never want to wear it and I just kind of like sprayed it around my room because I, I like just wanted to get rid of it and I didn't want to like throw it away and waste it. But I did not like this scent. Um, it's definitely more like fruity and... I don't even know it's like fruity scent but it was like a weird fruity scent I don't know I did not like it and I would never repur like purchase the whole bottle okay you guys we are getting there we are almost done um I have the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer I went through two samples of it I love this stuff it's like my holy grail primer I bought the real one finally and I love it I will never live without this I think it's amazing amazing primer so Loved that. And then I have my, I went through a sample of my Tarte Amazonian Clay, the full coverage, like 12 hour foundation. I am in light medium. I liked it, but I think I'm too dry for it. I kinda, as I wore it throughout the day, I definitely saw like flakiness and dryness on my face. So if you have oily skin, I think it'd be a great option. It is definitely like medium to full coverage definitely buildable to full coverage though so really really nice the next thing is the makeup forever hd foundation i love this stuff it's amazing and i'm debating on buying it um and i really really love this foundation i am in the number 125 and sorry this bag is so disgusting um but i like i wiped that baby clean i loved this stuff and I also had when I got that sample she also gave me the uh, makeup forever HD primer long lasting makeup I don't know it looks like that and it was okay I didn't mind it but I would never purchase the whole thing because I love my Tarte primer um the next thing that I went through is Finally, the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I didn't want to throw it away. I didn't want to waste it, and I was really good, and I used it all up. Um, it's definitely a greasy feeling on the face, and I have dry skin. I guess that's enough said. Do I need to say any more? Um, and it's so sheer that you can barely have... I mean, it's just like a moisturizer. Like, it has no coverage whatsoever. So, I don't think I'd be repurchasing this. Um, I also went through a Revlon lip butter. This is in creme brulee, and I think I can get a little bit onto my hand. There we go. It kind of looks like that. Um, it's kind of like a peachy brown color. I love this. This is like, I have to go out and get another one because I love it so, so much. It's such an easy way to just throw on color on your lips and leave. And it's moisturizing and it doesn't leave my lips like flaky or dry. So I love Revlon lip butters. All right, I went through a Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Pink Slip and it kind of dried up on me there. There's like a little bit left right there. Um, I love, love, love this color. I don't know if they make it anymore because I know they like redid all of their nail polish, but I love it. It's like the perfect pale, pale pink. I love this, love this shade. I also went through my Sephora Day to Night Wear Eyeliner. Um, I loved this. It dried up on me just like a couple weeks ago and I was really sad, but I love this. I think this is in the color brown copper and I really love these pencils from Sephora. They're really, really good and they're pretty inexpensive too. So, um, I also went through my e.l.f. wet gloss slash and brow mascara. Um, 
I didn't use the eyelash side. Can I use that on my brows? If I can, I'm gonna keep this. If not, I'm gonna toss it because it was a dollar and I used that whole side for my brows and I love it. It's amazing. Okay, and the last thing. This is has nothing to do with beauty, but I thought I'd include it. It is from Trader Joe's and oh my gosh, this is the dark chocolate Tahitian vanilla caramels. They look like this. You can get them at Trader Joe's. I don't have a Trader Joe's around me, but my parents do. And like I said, we went, visited them this past month. And of course I had to pick up these. These are amazing. They like melt in your mouth. They're like the perfect chocolate caramel goodness. Oh, they're just so good. I highly, if you like caramel and you like chocolate, I think they have a milk chocolate too maybe, but I love the dark chocolate. I think it tastes so good. Um, if you like those things, this you need to try because it's amazing. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my March empties. Holy moly, I had so much stuff. I didn't realize um, I had a crap ton of stuff. Hopefully I didn't talk too fast and hopefully you got something out of this. Um, and definitely, oh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I am addicted to those. We can become friends and talk about beauty stuff and it'll be a lot of fun. And definitely subscribe to my channel if you like it. Like this video if you like it and do all those other things. I have every type of link down below. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!